Hi friends, welcome to the Windows 10 tutorial series. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to add users to the administrators group. So let's get started. Now the first thing that you do is that you open File Explorer. Once you do that, right click on this PC and then click on Manage. After that, expand this Local Users and Groups and then click on Groups. So these are the different groups currently available on Windows 10. We will be mainly working with this administrators and users group in this tutorial. So users, it says that uh, users are prevented from making accidental or intentional system-wide changes. So if you are a member of users group, you cannot do changes that affect your system, things like installing applications or changing your uh, or changing your IP address or formatting uh, disks, etc. But if you are the members of other administrators groups, you can see that it says administrators have complete and unrestricted access to the computer or domain. So if you are a member of this administrators group, then you can do anything on this computer. Things that can affect the performance and security of this computer. Now when you create a new user, in here you can see that we have these users on our computer. These four are disabled, however, we cannot use them because of this down arrow key down arrows you can see beside this uh, their names this icons little so this means that the accounts are disabled and you cannot use them however you can use with uh, use admin uh, users uh, sorry user one and user two so i'm currently logged on as admin now with this user one and user two let's uh, open any one of them if we right click on it and click on properties and in here, if we click on this member of tab, you can see that it says currently it is member of users group. So when you create a new user by default, they are in the users group. Now, if you want to add them, let's say to the administrators group, you click on this add in here. And in this box, you type in administrators. And you type, uh, click on this check names to check that the name is correct or not, it is. And then you click on okay. Now you can see that this user becomes a member of both the users and administrator, administrators group. So click on OK. So by the way, you can also uh, remove it from here. So select any one of them and click on remove. Uh, now, if we go to the users, so, sorry, to the group. And in here, this is the administrators group. So if you right click on it and click on properties, now in here it says for the members that user one is a member of it. Previously, it wasn't. Now let's say, we want to add user 02 as well. So one way of doing it is like we did for user one. Right click on it, click on properties, go to the member of, click on add, sorry. Go to the properties, click on member of, and then click on add, and then type in administrators. That is one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is by going to the groups and then right click on the administrators group or any other group uh, in here that you want. It doesn't matter. So right click on it and then click on properties from here add click on this add icon or add button once you do that in here type in the name of the user that you want to add to the administrators group in here i have typed user 02 click on check names to make sure that the name is correct which it is now click on ok now you can see that user 2 is also added so if we click on ok and let's go back to the users now you can see uh, if you go to user 02 right click on it click on properties and click on member of now you can see previously it was only member of the users group now uh, it is a member of the administrators group so this is two ways of uh, in which you can add a user to the administrators group this is it for this tutorial guys if you have any questions suggestions or recommendations feel free to put them in the comment section below and if you found this tutorial uh, you still make sure uh, to share it with your friends and i'll see you guys in the next one